Hello there! Welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of the video. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, it's about greasing your differential gear. So this second part of the video is about the shock absorber. We're going to strip down the shock absorber, identify its component, check its condition, and we'll see if it requires additional shock oil. Okay, without further ado, let's start the video! So these are the two shock absorber I have on my RC. This one you can see uh, it's still responsive even if you rotate it you'll see same response from it. So for sure this one's still good I just have to check whether it has uh, enough shock oil. And this one you can check the same. See, it's also responsive, but when you rotate it, I won't have any, it won't have the same response as to the other one. And you can see maybe it's, also, it's already, you won't be able to see it from here. Let me check it right there. Yeah, see if I raise this one up, uh, you'll see it's rust and it's not smooth anymore. Because uh, perhaps inside there's a lot of uh, resistance and looks like it's not aligned anymore so I have to strip it off open it and then see what we can do uh, looks like it's uh, no longer straight from here see so if you rotate it like this you won't see the same response compared to the other one this one looks good but the other one uh, looks uh, looks bad compared to the other one. So we'll open up and let's check it out. So we have removed all the parts of this uh, shock absorber so it consists of the spring this is the spring the bladder this is the bladder this is the cup upper cup upper cup upper shock cup and this is the lower uh, shock cup or the seal and this is the um, shock shaft. You can see the shock shaft is not straight enough. So I have to fix this one and I have to clean it and put another shock oil on it. Okay, this is the spring retainer. Uh, this stops the spring from going out. Because it holds the spring here from here to there. And this is the shock bottom this is the tip of the shaft it's connected to this one here and this is the main uh, body of the shock okay this is where you feel the oil shock all right this is how it looks like this one is connected to here if we lock it up the bladder is on top of this uh, upper cup this is top the oil shock from leaking from the top part at the bottom part this is the these are the small rubber also that rubber stops from the oil from leaking at the bottom part of the shock okay and this is the spacer all right so i have to clean it and then put some oil so we have to connect back the piston uh, with screw some of them some of the shock shaft have screw but this one has a pin only so you have to put back the pin like that and this goes inside uh, the body of the shocks 
from this side all right there some of the parts came off as well so you just have to put it back see some of the o-ring or uh, seals are here so i have to put it back here so there and then i have to put the spacer uh, this one in here so i have to put the shock seal bottom seal this is the one i have to lock it up this part there so that if you put the shock oil in here it won't leak at the bottom and on top you have to put this uh, shock cup together with the uh, bladder this one right Put it here and then the bladder should face this side All right so that it will seal the upper part of the shock this one All right so as always since i'm not doing a pro rc um need to save money i just have to put uh as always olive oil so i have to tighten the lower cup and you have to put olive oil kids don't do this at home all right so olive oil is there pouring some more okay this works for me so that's enough you don't have to make it full uh, you can see at the bottom if there's a you can see at the bottom is there's leak so in this case there's no leak so i can put back now the uh, shock cup the upper part cup here to seal to seal the this part of the rc so that it the shock oil won't uh, leak right so oil is there now oh, you can see there's no leak even if you push it up and down it's not leaking on top and bottom so now we're ready to put the spring is the spring you have to pull the shop out and you have to pull the shop out there the spring together with the spring retainer this one and then you can put back this um, shock bottom now you will see it's better and it's responsive right so we can put this back to the RC right so there you have it thank you for supporting my channel see you on the next vlog